today, we're going to take a look at T1's draft in their match against DRX this morning. Now, T1 is usually a team that drafts decently, but apparently not having Faker spells complete and utter doom for this team's drafting capabilities. Let's take a look. Also, 74% of you aren't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button for more Educational League content. DRX opened with first pick Sichuani, which I'm not a fan of with Maokai still available, but it's not awful. This sets the stage for DRX to commit to scaling 5v5 teamfight comp, so we're looking for them to continue to build around that archetype. T1 immediately blunder with a rotation of Renekton and Jace. At this point, you probably know how I feel about Renekton, as I think the champ is completely useless. And Kaysante is open. Still can't figure out why the croc is such high priority, but is what it is. The Jace pick I would typically be okay with because it is a mid-top flex, but with the Renekton locked, it kills Jace's flex option. So in this case, they should have just taken the Maokai and saved the other solo lane for later pick to preserve flex potential with Jace. DRX answer with Azir and Jax, which is solid. They both fit themes with Sejuani of scaling and teamfight, although Jax may want to play side lane this game because he outscales Renekton very hard. The Azir is especially good because Renekton and Jace, to some degree, are short-ranged dive champions, which Azir thrives into, so great rotation from DRX. T1 then take the Maokai on R3, which is their one good pick of the draft, but you can see through the first phase how ahead DRX is. They have three champions designed to scale and teamfight around late game objectives, whereas T1 have one early game dive champion, one mid late game poke champ, and one full scaling teamfight objective fight champion. All T1's picks want to do different things and thus will automatically create problems in how they execute inside the game. T1 R4 Kaisa, which is bad because again, she is short ranged and diving into Azir and Jax and Sejuani. All DRX have to do now is pick a bot lane that is good into that archetype, ideally Aphelios, Zaya, or Kog'Maw. Speaking of, DRX round out with Zaya and Rel, which is okay. The Zaya pick is good because it thematically counters T1's champions and fits the scaling mode of the rest of the team. The short range could be a problem, but against Renekton, Maokai, and Kai'Sa, Zaya is a solid pick. I don't like the Rel for several reasons. First, it is off theme with the rest of the DRX's team comp, which wants to kite back and have T1 run into them. Rel only has one mode, which is to dive and go in, so this creates dysfunction in how they want to play, but it isn't enough to ruin the draft identity for DRX. T1 R5 counter with Alistar into Rel, which is bad. People pick this solely as a lane counter to Rel without considering the big picture repercussions. Alistar again is playing exactly into what DRX want as he has to dive and go in. Thematically, T1 is completely outdrafted and quite honestly, they don't have a chance of winning unless they're 5k gold and 3 dragons up by 20 minutes. Solid draft here from DRX aside from the rel pick, but still more than enough to make it impossible for T1 to play. Thanks for watching, see you next time.